My name is Kathleen Brennan, I'm a GP and I'm here to help to explain why and how general practice is changing. General practice has been changing a lot over the past few years and even more so over the, the past year and not because of the COVID pandemic but despite it. And part of that change has been the introduction of lots of allied health professionals into the practice team to help us manage our patients better. The expanded general practice team have been invaluable for our work in general practice. They are highly skilled and highly trained individuals with their own areas of expertise. This is part of the vision for general practice changing and, and the role of the GP changing to the expert medical generalist. The role of the GP has become much more complex. So the things that traditionally were managed in hospital are, are being managed in the community, which is, is overwhelming in workloads. So we have to embrace different ways of working and looking at different ways of managing that workload. As GPs, we love continuity with our patients and we love seeing our patients and getting to know them and, and getting to know how best to help them in their, their journey. That's what we do, that's what we want to do. But because of the, the sheer amount of work that we have, we want to be able to do that for our most complex patients, where our skills are needed, most of all. So we, we still get to know our patients and we still you know, are part of that, that story, but sometimes we're a little bit more removed from it as these other specialist roles help, to, help them better than, than we can. And I, I think the perception has always been that the GP is the person you need to see. But actually, the additional members of our team are highly trained. You know, they really know their stuff about their area. And so actually, it's going to be far more beneficial to see for our patients. And they'll often be able to see them more quickly to help with their problem than waiting to see a GP. They can organise tests, whether it be blood tests or x-rays. They can send referrals on to secondary care, so they can send referrals on to the hospital for, for, for specialists to see people. So it, it's a really good value appointment you're getting. You're getting longer with these people and, and someone who's really specialist in, in, in the problem that you're bringing to them. Sometimes the reception team will ask you, when you tell them what's wrong with you uh, and they ask their questions, they may direct you to some other service out with the practice. So they may direct you to an optometrist or a dentist or minor injuries because those places are the best fit to deal with the symptoms you're reporting. These changes that are happening in general practice are happening nationally. They are happening across Scotland. They are happening for every every practice and every patient and that we were we are all at different stages in that in that process of, of the care changing and the way that patients access it but GPs are still here we are absolutely still seeing patients face to face and we are but we are utilizing we're using all these experts alongside our appointments to help provide a better service for our patients